working with it, but there's sometimes where you have to break the mood because we're yeah. working in a mental hospital for five months Jeez. in Brooklyn, and every day you'd walk in, there'd be a little guy staring, there'd be like, there's, you know, there's a lot of doors and yeah. only five keys. And <laughs> you'd be there and you'd walk past and there'd be a guy waiting at the window going, do I look nuts to you? Do I look nuts to you? Do I look crazy to you? And it, you realize it was one of the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning. So you're walking into this environment and you, we were working in this place yeah. and it was, it was, an, it was an, I guess, a hospital with the bottom two floors were still real patients. Yeah. And we used a lot of real patients. We used, you know, Penny was using schizophrenics and yeah. uh, uh, Tourette's patients. And it was a weird thing. The schizophrenics, she would ask, she would direct them and everything was fine until the moment when they said, it's time now. We're going to have to, because someone's talking in front of you, we want you to talk but not say anything. And all of a sudden you saw them look like, and I'm crazy? Yeah. <laughs> but they, but they wanted background stuff. Yeah, but not it's like, it was that moment where all of a sudden reality went, mm. Yeah. <laughs> but there are times when, no, you have to break up, but there's other times where you can't. Did, yeah. did you ever meet the doctor that you're playing in here? Oh, yeah, he's wonderful. Oliver Sacks, he wrote this book, Awakenings, and he wrote another book called The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat, which those of you who drink a lot are going, I've done that. <laughs> yeah, I sure right, she was a pair of shorts one night, too. <laughs> and he wrote these wonderful books, basically about different aspects of the brain. And in this, he, um, he was there every day. Yeah. He's an amazing man. He's about 6'4". He's like a combination of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Albert Schweitzer. And he also looks like Santa Claus, because he's got this big beard and... Uh, Usually there's food in it that he's forgotten is there. <laughs> oh, oh, good, I forgot that. Mm. <laughs> tasty, tasty. tasty. Mm. And he's this very, the amazing thing, as big as he is and as strong as he is, he's this very gentle and compassionate man who is brilliant, who is, he examines, he called these people who basically have been in a comatose state for 30 years and many of us are going, well, that's Ronald Reagan, but no, I, <laughs> I think that's, it's, he's wrote about them from the point of view of that, basically, they're explorers. He said that they came from this, they're in another state. They're exploring right. another dimension of thought. And of course, in the play, you play the doctor who was aware that there are people inside there and then just in the, over a period of time start to come out of there. Yeah, home, right? they, through this, he, he basically isolated that they suffered from this one disorder called encephalitis lethargica, which is, encephalitis is a brain virus. And this right. is a specific one that after the initial outbreak, which went through Europe and America and killed many people, but many people who survived, it had a dormancy period, and about five years later, they all of a sudden would start to freeze up and go into this, like, statue state. It would be latent that long, and then... Yeah, and they have a dormancy period, and then it would come back, and right. then he woke them up, basically, with this drug that they use for Parkinson's patients, right. which is... It was a miracle, and he yeah. said for that summer, it was an amazing thing to yeah. see them. He has documented footage of these people who hadn't moved right. in a long time, but, and the next thing you see them, they're, they're like this. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you think that after 30 years, one of them would wake up and go, didn't anybody try and shake me? <laughs> I was sleeping. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're going to show you a film clip later. Say, stay where you are. We're coming back with Robert. <laughs> and Steve.